In lessons nine and 10, we're going to learn about three different ways that er is spelled and learn about long Y at the end of a short word. So first, let's review our sounds from days seven and eight. Remember, CH has three sounds. The most common one is CH. The second most common is K, like in school. And the third is SH, like in the word chef. So when we see CH, we want to do all three sounds and in the order of how common they are. So CH, K, SH. TH has two sounds, the unvoiced sound of TH, like in thin, and the voice sound of th, like in this. So when I point to th, make sure to do both sounds, th and th, in that order. For all of these sounds, pause the video before I do them, or before each line, or before each screen. Shh. If you're having trouble remembering the three sounds of CH or the two sounds of TH, please go back to lesson seven for CH and lesson eight for TH. So er has three different spellings and the most common one is ER. So if you're reading a word and you have an ER, UR or IR at the end of a word or before a consonant, it's going to have the sound of er. 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 Er, er. For spelling purposes, ER is much more common than UR or IR. So if you're trying to figure out how to spell a word with the er sound, try this one first. Let's try these sounds in some words. These sounds will say er at the end of a word, like these three words here, or before another consonant. Er. Er, her. It's okay to run your finger below the word as you read. Erd, heard. P, erk, perk. Er, f, er, fur. Earn, earn. B, l, er. Blur. Er. Remember, although S has two sounds, S and Z, at the beginning of the word, we always use the S sound. S, er, sir. B, erd, bird. S, t, er, stir. Let's try some more words. D, ert, dirt. G, earl, girl. B, earth, birth. Now, if you said birth with the voice th sound, then that is a valid way to read it. However, the sound we use is the first sound here of th. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a rule to help you figure out when to try th versus th. So since th is used a little more often, try that sound first. And if you don't recognize the word, then try it again with the th sound. Th, erm, firm. Remember that QU together has one sound of qu, qu, erk, quirk, sh, ert, shirt. B, earl, twirl, f, earn, fern, 
nerd, nerd, verb, verb. Now, if you have trouble noticing the E-R, U-R, or I-R in a word, you may need to circle it or underline it until you're used to thinking of the two letters as one sound. T -erm term, k -l -er -k clerk, b -earn burn. Earn, turn, hurt, hurt, slur, slur, turf, turf, surf, surf. Let's try some sentences. Remember that the sentences that end in a vowel, we will try the vowel's long sound. The e, the, b, erd, bird, s, at, sat, on, on, a, g, earl, girl. The bird sat on a girl. If you read this word as the, that's fine because most of the time, when we are reading the words the and a, our mouths get a little lazy because we're in a hurry and we wind up pronouncing it like the and a. Th e, the, d, og, dog, h, ad, had, r, ed, red, f, er, fur. The, dog, had, Red fur. A girl, girl, w is. Notice we use the second sound of th here with a b ig, big, curl, curl, ad, had, a b bird, bird. On, on, her, her, sh, shirt, shirt, a girl with a big curl had a bird on her shirt. How are you doing? Please don't move on to the next lesson until you can get most of these words correct. Let's practice our nonsense syllables. If you stick around for bonus lesson 11, you'll be able to find out more about why we practice these nonsense syllables. Remember, for these syllables, we are going to use the vowel's long sound. And for the long U, you use the U sound if it's not too hard to say. And if it's hard to say after the letter in front of it, then you switch to the U sound. Way, we, why, wo, woo. Nay, knee, nigh, no, new. Bray, bree, bry, bro, brew. For lesson 10, we are going to learn about the sound that Y makes at the end of a short word. Now, the first sound that, of Y that we learned in level one was the consonant sound of Y. But Y, most of the time, actually acts as a vowel. So this is the first vowel sound of Y we're going to learn. And it is the long I sound of I. So when I point to the Y, do the consonant sound, then the long I sound. Y, I. Y, I. Y, I. I, y, I. So when you have a short word with a Y at the end, try the long sound of Y, which is the same as a long I. M, I, my, t, er, I, try, b, I, by, f, 
fly, fly. Let's practice with some more words. Fr I fry. Sl I sly. Sly means sneaky. D er I dry. P er I pry. P -l I ply. Sk I sky. S I spy. M I my. Here we're going to use the second sound of th, the voiced th sound. Th thy. Cry. Cry. Sly. Sly. Now, most of the time at the end of a word, Y actually has a different sound that we will cover in a future lesson. But we're learning this sound first because it is used in short words and common words like my. Let's try this long Y sound in some sentences. M I, my, k, at, cat. Oh, remember our silent E is going to make the A have its long A sound. Eight, eight, A, fly, fly. My cat, eight, A, fly. If you forgot about the silent E rule, please go back to, I think it's level two, lesson five to review that. Here we, we will use the second sound of TH, the voiced th sound. The fly sat on on the fry fry. The fly sat on the fry. Remember Q U together has the sound of qu, qu, ick, quick. The exclamation point shows emphasis or excitement, some sort of strong emotion, quick. Stop, stop, the, the, bug, bug. Another exclamation point because this is a command. The, the, red, red, bug. Ug, bug, k, an, can, fly, fly. Be sure to stick around if you're doing well with these lessons to bonus lesson 11. However, if you have a younger student or one who's still struggling, then I would not do the bonus lesson at this point. So you can get extra practice with the long Y sound. Uh, go download Word Mastery from Don Potter's website. I think this is covered on pages 34 through 40, but I might have put the wrong pages there. Okay, so if you are doing well and want to understand why we've been practicing these nonsense letters, you can learn about the accented Y at the end of a longer word. If, however, you are still struggling, go ahead and just skip this lesson. Okay, we have here some two syllable words. Two syllables means if you tapped it out, you would have two taps. D phi, uh, doggy, radar. TV. So one tap per vowel sound that you hear. The words we covered earlier were only one syllable words like sly, cry, my. So if you have an accented syllable, which just means a syllable where you're definitely saying the long vowel sound is written, which is covered more in a different video uh, of a different program. But if you have that, you can divide the words into syllables, which I have done. It's okay if you don't know how to divide them into syllables. You can see my syllable division boot camp to learn how to do that. But let's say you have a word that has already been divided into syllables for you, which 
I took these four words, I divided them into syllables. These syllables ending in the Y are going to use the long I sound that we just learned about of I. The first syllable of each of these words ends in a vowel and is going to use the vowel's long sound, just like we practiced in the nonsense words. So when we practice with the letter D, we said day, D, die, do, do. So this is the D syllable. D, fi, defy, re, lie, rely. If you find this confusing, that's fine. This lesson is completely optional. You don't have to do it at this point. You can just skip it and move on to level three if you were ready for level three. Reply, reply, deny, deny, ally, ally, decry, decry, apply, apply, imply, imply.